Hey friends, this is Miss Stacy from the Youth Services Department of the Fayetteville Public Library, and this is Preschool Story Time for ages three to five. Let's sing our hello song. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. We wink and sing hello. We wink and sing hello. With our friends of story time, we wink and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends of story time, we clap and sing hello. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're going to be talking about worms. Have you ever seen a worm? Worms are any number of creeping or burrowing animals with no backbone, but they have long, slender, soft bodies and no limbs. That means no arms, no legs, just this long, soft body. And if you wanted to sign worm in American Sign Language, you would put up your non-dominant hand like it's a wolf, and then take your other hand, which for me is my right hand, is my dominant hand, and I'm gonna pretend like my pointy finger is a worm. And then my worm is gonna crawl along the, the wall. Worm. Let's read our first book today. Our first story is called Bob and Otto, written by Robert O. Brohl, pictures by Nick Brohl. See a tree? Once there were two very good friends. Bob, see Bob is blue and yellow. And Otto, Otto is pink. It was spring, just like right now. And everything was lively and exciting. These two very good friends spent each day digging in the ground, playing in the grass, and eating the leaves that fell from the old tree. But one day, what do you see I'm doing here? They're eating grass, they're playing around the tree trunk. Look, at he's on top of the grass right there. They're eating leaves, look at that. Bob looked up. Look, there's Bob. He's looking up. What does he see? I think he sees that tree. <clears throat> I need to climb this tree, he said. I want to see how the world looks from up there. Up there, said Otto. But it's so nice down here. When it's hot and dry, you can dig deep into the ground where it's cool and damp. And when it rains, you can come back up. Life is good just where we are. Why would you want to go up there? Because it's important, said Bob. And up the tree he went. See, there he goes, he's starting up the tree. It's important down here too, said Otto. And down into the ground he went. See, there's Bob. No, that was Otto. <laughs> Bob climbed and he climbed and he climbed and he climbed until he was very high in the tree. Otto dug and he dug and he dug and he dug until he was very deep under the tree. These fresh green leaves are very tasty up here, thought Bob. So he ate and he ate and he ate until he felt quite sleepy. <laughs> Look at his face right there. <laughs> He's quite sleepy. These old rotted leaves are very tasty down here, thought Otto. But still, he dug and he dug and he dug 
until he felt quite sleepy. So Bob slept and he slept and he slept and he slept for many days and nights. Look what, what happened to Bob. Look, what is that? Is that called a cocoon? Looks like he's gone into a cocoon. But Otto still dug and he dug and he dug and he dug and dug some more. When Bob woke up, he was so full of joy. He felt like flying. So he flew over, under, and around every branch of the tree. Otto loved digging so much, he dug over, under, and around every root of the tree. Soon Bob realized how much he missed his old friend and all of the fun they used to have together. Soon Otto realized how much he missed his, his old friend and all of the fun they used to have together. So down went Bob to find Otto. So up went Otto to find Bob. See him coming up? He dug all around here and he's coming up. He flew all around there and he's coming down. Here they are, they met. He said, hello, Bob. Hello, Otto. We just looked at each other a little more. I like your wings, thanks. We just keep looking at each other. So, you can fly. Sure can. And there, now, oh, look. Otto put his head down. Otto? Why are you so sad? Because, said Otto, if I had climbed up the old tree with you when you asked me to, then maybe I would have grown big, beautiful wings like yours, and maybe I could fly. But I didn't. All I did was dig and dig and dig and dig and dig some more. But I'm still just a big, fat worm. No. See, look at this. There's Otto. And he's dreaming that he was a butterfly like Bob. No, you're not, said Bob. While you were digging, all I did was eat. While you were digging, all I did was sleep. While you were digging, all I did was fly around. But while you were digging, you loosened the soil so the roots could drink water, so the tree could grow tall, so the leaves would be green, so I could eat the leaves and grow wings. I owe it all to you, Otto, said Bob. You're not just a worm, you're my best friend. Oh, that's pretty sweet, isn't it? And friends are important. Like there they are. There's, there's Bob, and I think that's Otto. The end. All right, friends, let's sing a song. This is a new song. Sing. It sounds like the Itsy Bitsy Spider, but it's about a worm. The little wiggle worm went crawling underground. Down came the rain and mud was all around. The rain filled the tunnels and pushed out the little worm. And soon the puddles on the ground were the only place to squirm. <laughs> Let's sing it one more time. 
That little wiggle worm went crawling underground. Down came the rain and mud was all around. The rain filled the tunnels and pushed out the little worm. And soon the puddles on the ground were the only place to squirm. <laughs> Our second story today is called Worm Loves Worm by J.J. Austrian. Pictures by Mike Curato. Worm loves worm. Let's be married, says worm to worm. Yes, answers worm. Let's be married. Look, they love each other. Wait, says Cricket. You'll need someone to marry you. That's how it's always been done. I'll marry you. Now can we be married, says Worm. Wait, says Beetle. You've got to have a best beetle. Naturally, that would be me. Now can we be married, asks Worm. Wait, wait, wait says the bees. You need bride's bees. Can we be the bride's bees? Please, please, please. Yes, says Worm. Now can we be married? You'll need to get rings to wear on your fingers, says Cricket. That's how it's always been done. But we don't have fingers, says Worm. We can wear them like belts, says Worm. Wonderful, says Worm. Now we can be married. He's got the ring like a belt. Just make sure to have a band so we can dance, says Beetle. But we don't have feet to dance with, says Worm. We can just wiggle around, says Worm, like this. Can you wiggle, 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 wiggle? Fun, says Worm. Now we can be married. But you still need a white dress, a tuxedo, a top hat, lots and lots of flowers, and a cake with frosting, say the bees. But we don't have heads for hats, says Worm, or hands to hold flowers, and we only eat dirt, says Worm. Wait, says Spider, I can attach the hat and flowers to you with my sticky web. Thank you, says Worm and Worm. But who will eat the cake, asked the bees. I can eat the cake along with Cricket and Beetle, says Spider. What did you say, asked Cricket and Beetle. Nothing, says Spider with a smile. I think he wants to eat it all by himself. Now we can be married, says Worm. But which one of you is the bride, asked the bees. How can we be bride's bees if we don't know who the bride is? I can be the bride, says Worm. I can too, says Worm. But one of you has got to be the groom, or how can I be best beetle, asks Beetle. I can be the groom, says Worm. I can too, says Worm. We can be both. Amazing, says Spider. Really? asked the beetle and the bees. Wait, says Cricket. That isn't how it's always been done. Then we'll just change how it's been done, says Worm. Yes, says Worm. And so they were married because Worm Loves worm. Isn't that cute? They got married. The end. Now let's do some finger play. This is the box. And we're gonna put these fingers in the box. Here are some worms that are oh so sad. Can you make a sad face? <laughs> 
Sarah. They've lost all the wiggles that they once had. They wonder if you, just for today, would lend them your wiggles so they can play. Can we borrow your wiggles? Okay. Here they are. They've got wiggles back. Wiggle them up and wiggle them down. Wiggle the worms around and around. Wiggle them high. Wiggle them low. Wiggle them fast. And wiggle them slow. Wiggle them over your shoes and socks. Then wiggle them back in their box. Good job, friends. Our last story today is called Noodle and Lou by Liz Garten Scanlon. Pictures by Arthur Howard. You see that? There's a worm. You got a hat on. And a bird. Noodle and Lou. This book is full of bugs. <laughs> Some days don't go well. Right from the start, Noodle woke up with a rain cloudy heart. His bright side was muddy. His high point sank low. The grass grew much greener in other worms' rows. Look how happy they all are, but not Noodle. Some days are like this. What's a worm gonna do? Well, if he is Noodle, he'll lean on his Lou. Hey, Lou! Yelling for him. My head has no eyes, Noodle said, feeling glum. So life's a surprise, Lou said to his chum. And I don't have a beak, said Noodle, quite blue. But you're long and so sleek, which is perfect for you. But also no feet, Noodle said with a shrug. I think you're complete. And Lou gave him a hug. No, oh, look at him hugging, isn't that so cute? I'm dirty and mucky. You're wiggly and plucky. I'm skinny and bare with your own special flair. Birds think I'm a treat. You are pretty sweet. <laughs> Man, lose a good friend to noodle, isn't he? This went on for a bit, each line like the last. Noodle quite gloomy and Lou just steadfast. But Lou meant every word. Even Noodle could see. All those high flying types and Lou Bird likes me. Look their friends, isn't that so cute? And in spite of himself, Noodle had to admit that he and his friend were a very fine fit. Look at him, he's on his shoulder. He's so cute. He's so happy, look at his smile. So he lifted his chin, crawled out of his rut, gave his sorry old slither a jaunty new strut. And Lou, he was tickled. See, you just never know, he said with a grin, how a day is gonna go. What a worm, thought this bug. <laughs> so cute. But really, thought Noodle, the bigger surprise is seeing yourself through your best buddy's eyes. Isn't that nice? And look, here they are flying together. <laughs> so cute. The end. 
All right, for our craft today, we're gonna make chain leaf worms that we can make crawl with sticks. I used paper in the color of worms, a couple googly eyes, a red pen for the mouth, a couple sticks, scissors, and glue. Then I measured stripes along the paper about two inches wide. And I cut those into strips. Do the same thing for all the colors that you're gonna to use to make your worm. Using my glue stick, I added some glue to one end of the strip so I could fold it over onto itself to make a loop. Then you do it for the next color in your pattern and stick it through the first loop before folding it back on itself to make another loop. Keep doing that with your colors alternating in the pattern that you have chose until you have a chain. Using a piece of tape, I stuck it to the end of my bamboo skewer and put it inside the end pieces of the chain. Finally, I drew a red mouth on the face and added some googly eyes with my glue stick. All right, friends, thanks for joining me for this preschool story time about worms. Let's sing our goodbye song. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. We wink and sing goodbye. We wink and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wink and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We'll see you next time.